Sometimes while questing, you get some really weird shit as quest rewards. Like, in addition to an item, you'll get a crappy potion that increases your damage to demons by 10. Sometimes those items are fun, like the rainbow generator. And rarely, sometimes those items are just downright crazy useful, even at endgame levels of content. This list will go over the useful stuff, most of which were from vanilla since Blizzard has since put level caps and everything. Also, this list will only go over usable items, no trinkets or anything else that require you to wear them to use their effects. Number 10 on this list is Slumber Sand. You get Slumber Sand from a low level quest in the Undead Starter Zone, and it's an instant on use ability which puts a target to sleep for 20 seconds, allowing you for some nice additional on demand CC for whatever you might need it for leveling, except it has a level limit of only usable on targets level 30 and below. The next item had pretty much the same effect, but a hundred times more usefulness. Number 9 is the Magic Dust. Magic Dust was a drop from the Unbound Cyclone, which put the target to sleep for 30 seconds and had no level limit, in addition to being sellable in the Auction House. And this thing put people to sleep for the full 30 seconds, all the way up to Wrath of the Lich King when they finally gave it a PvP duration of 10 seconds. Wrath was also when it was given a level restriction of level 30, just like the Slumber Sand. Magic Dust was infinitely more useful for extra CC in raids, PvP, or solo content that required Spart CC, like the insane epic bow vanilla hunter quest chain, where the sand made fighting one of the demons easier as you could just put its annoying pet to sleep. Number 8. Really Sticky Glue Need to instantly root something for 10 seconds that won't break on damage? Great, then just use some really sticky glue. Since his item is no longer obtainable, it has no level restriction. Originally, it came in a stack of 20 and could be sold in the auction house, but was later changed to bind on pickup, making it a little limiting in its uses, but was still useful at max level in the same ways that Magic Dust was, only in different situations. Sticky Glue could be used in ICC to root the Shadow Fangs on Seraphang, or the Big Ooze on Rotface, for example, or be used to root a Flag Carrier for 10 seconds. Tons of uses, no longer available though. There was a similar item called the Large Rope Net, which dropped from the Defias Trappers in Westfall with the same effect, uses, and was tradable, but it was removed from game because Blizzard said they were too powerful. Removed from the game, the same time really sticky glue was still in the game, mind you. But I guess I get the logic, I mean you could farm the Large Rope Net while you could only do the quest for the sticky glue once. Number 6, the Glowing Wax Stick. This item had a unique effect for a quest item. For one, it reduced the armor of the target by 50, and made it so the target could not turn invisible or use stealth for 30 seconds. Kind of like a druid's fairy fire. So obviously this item was best used in situations where fairy fire was useful, in fighting rogues or druids in PvP. Number 5, the Mechanical Yeti. This item was a reward from a quest in Winter Spring, which also led to getting the pattern to craft the pet version of the Yeti. The item had three charges and summoned a level 58 Yeti that would fight for you for 10 minutes. The thing is though, the Yeti was near max level, which was 60 around the time this item was useful, which meant it did some pretty nice damage. The Yeti also worked like a pet on old school aggressive mode, and would just attack anything near you. So if you accidentally use one in a neutral city, you might have gotten killed by the guards thanks to the Yeti. There have been cases of people using the Yeti to take important hits on boss fights because the boss targeted it randomly, or summoning the Yeti while stealth in a duel, and watching the Yeti go to town on your opponent before coming out of stealth and finishing them off. Number 4, Whale of the Banshee. Sadly, it does not cause instant death, like abilities with similar names do in other RPGs, but did reduce the target's hit chance by 10% for 12 seconds. Reducing hit chance is pretty good, especially if used on bosses or high level mobs. It didn't last very long, only had 3 charges, and is a rare drop from a boss in Strathholm, so its uses and availability were very limited. There was another item pretty similar and a lot more useful, called the Bag of Marbles. The Bag of Marbles reduced the enemy's hit chance by 25% for 10 seconds, more than double that of the Whale of the Banshee, had 10 charges, and was a quest reward for a low level quest. The marbles were reported to work on all kinds of bosses in vanilla and BC, and even some boss adds in Wrath. One of the more popular uses of Bag of Marbles was to use it on Brutalis so he'd miss his Meteor Slash ability, before it was fixed to no longer be able to miss. The Bag of Marbles is no longer available in game. Number 2, Aviana's Feather, one of the most recent items on the list. 
Anyone traveling around Draenor before the addition of flying knew the value of this item. The item was a quest reward from one of the dungeon quests you got from having a garrison in. The item itself, on a 10 minute cooldown, would throw you straight up into the air and then give you wings and let you glide until you hit the ground. Considering just how far up in the air it sent you though, it made this item a must have until you got the ability to fly. It even worked in BGs for a hot minute when it was first put into the game. It was hotfixed immediately though, as that was not a very smart move. Now time for number one. The number one most useful item ever. Light of a Loon. Obtainable from an alliance-only quest no longer in the game. Light of a Loon gave you immunity to all damage and spells for 10 seconds. This was equivalent to a paladin's bubble. Only without the damage reduction. Just a straight up 10 second immunity in a bottle. Since this item only has one charge, many people never actually used it and probably still have it to this day. Only because it's hard to think of that one perfect time to use God Mode. The obvious answer though, is to use it when you're the last person alive in a progression raid boss, and the boss is less than 1% health left. Everyone would talk about how you DPS the boss for 10 seconds and got that kill for the longest time. And what better way to use an item like this than to show off with it? Alright, and that's the end of this video. If you know any cool quest or random drop items that I may have missed, let me know. If there's enough of them, I can always just make another video. I'd also like to thank Yaktronics for sponsoring this video. Yaktronics sells custom mouses, keypads, and headsets. All items used heavily for computer gaming, with cool logos and the option to add your very own unique logo to whatever you want. Use promo code RUMMERRED for 7% off at checkout. Links in the description.